Hi everyone and welcome back to Architects 3D Printing. This is the second episode of the 3D printed DSLR Camera Slider project. As you may remember, in the first episode we finished the 3D modeling of all the components using Rhino and we finally got those renderings. In case you missed that video, you can watch it clicking right here or in the link in the description. Along this week, I've been printing all the necessary components to build the slider and I have all of them right here. We have printed six thumb screws with its nuts to attach the wheels that will be composed of six bearings and six 3D printed tires to the carry that we have also printed. We will also attach to the carry the removable plate with the mount for the camera that is composed of these three pieces. To attach it, we will use those four bigger 3D printed screws and its nuts. For the structure of the slider, we will use those 8.1 mm aluminum linear rods that we bought in the hardware store and we will keep them in place using those two extreme pieces that we designed. And finally, to keep the balance with the horizontal forces, we will use these two separators and the one with the incorporated tripod mount. Alright, so we are gonna start with the assembly of the structure. We will insert the aluminum bars in the holes meant for it of the extreme pieces. Once we have it, we will insert the horizontal separators, each 25 cm, putting the one with the tripod mount right in the middle. Now, we are gonna start assembling the carry. The first step will be inserting the six bearings into the 3D printed tires. Finally, we will take our thumb screws and start inserting them from the outside. First, the screw, then the wheel, and finally the nut, screwing everything together. Be careful since the screws are printed in PLA and if you apply too much pressure, we will break them. So here we will make the first modification, because as you can see, the wheel is not rotating properly. If we remember in our 3D model, we made a small bump around the holes for the wheels with the radius of the static part of the bearing. In our 3D printed piece, this bump is not enough, so the wheel is touching the wall, and the friction doesn't let it rotate. We are gonna fix it real quick, printing these six washers and inserting them in between the wheels and the carry. After the screwing in place, we can check that now the rotation is perfect and smooth. So we will repeat the process with the other six wheels. After that, we will check if the carry fits into the structure of the slider, and as we can see, it fits perfectly. Now, 
we are gonna finally install the removable plate on the top of the carry using the four bigger screws and nuts. For that we will insert the screws from the holes in the bottom of the slider through the removable top plate creating, as you can see, a perfect fit. Finally, we will screw the nut from the top and repeat this process three more times. At this point, we only have to insert the camera in the removable top cover, and for that, we are gonna use this little action camera since I'm using the DSLR to record the video. We will insert the piece with the threaded part through the top cover and screw the camera in place. And finally, we will screw the top cover with the camera stood in place. Here we have our slider completely assembled. The only thing left is to test if it works. For the test, we are gonna install our DSLR as we did with the GoPro, and we are gonna make a couple of shoots. As you have seen, the footage is noisy and not smooth at all, but if we edit it in Final Cut Pro X, we can get a final result that looks quite good, as you can see here. Despite the result of the moving shoot was almost okay, we are gonna keep improving the camera slider design, making a second iteration for next week. Now I'm gonna tell you the points that I think need to be improved based on the experience I've had testing this first version. To start, I think one meter is too long, since I'm gonna use the slider to make close shots of the stuff I made, and I'm thinking to cut the linear rods. Also, due to the long distance, the aluminum rods were bending in the midpoint reducing the quality of the shoots. Another issue is that the tires are not big enough, so the linear rod is loose and that resulted in vibrations in the shoot. Finally, the separators of the structure were too close to the screws holding the wheels, so sometimes touch each other. And that's something that highly affects the quality of the footage. So that was everything for this episode. We will solve the problems for next Friday and we will try to make the slider motorized so we will get highly better results. To be notified when a new video is uploaded, please subscribe to the channel and as always hit the like button if you liked this episode. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at architects3dp if you want to follow the progress of this project and much more cool stuff. See you guys in the next video.